All right, this is going to be low right here. I'm not going to call it right here. So any of the fringe down, we're going to go low. I gave your instruction over the dress room. Obey my commands. Touch yourself to all times. Understood? Touch them up. Good luck to both of y'all. Malinaji seemed drained by the weight. We'll see what he has because Diaz is going to jump right on him. 12 rounds for Malinaji and Diaz. Underway, round number one. Malinaji's been plagued throughout his career with hand problems. Says it's not a problem. Malinaji looks lightning fast right now. And this is what he needs to do. He needs to throw that jab because the baby bull is coming after him. So he's got to be like the matador in there and, and allow that jab to keep working and those fast punches to keep working and, those, and his foot movement to keep working. Well, if Diaz is the baby bull, Malinaji is going to have to be a matador. Unfortunately, he's not wearing red tonight. You know, it's one thing to be a matador against a bull who charges one punch at a time. But Diaz throws such a high volume of punches, even if Malinaji makes a miss frequently, he has to worry about continuing shots coming from Diaz. So far, Malinaji's not letting Diaz plant his feet to punch by snapping out a good jab and giving Diaz angles. And that's important to give Diaz angles. He has to do that, and he has to stay away from the ropes because that will give Diaz an advantage which he doesn't want to give him. How about the enthusiasm of this crowd here in Houston for Diaz? Electricity in the air. You know, the Houston Texans played a home preseason game tonight. The Houston Astros were at home tonight. One of the columnists in the Houston Chronicle wrote, there's three sporting options tonight. I would recommend go to the fight. Max, you got to give them, if a crowd is at a corner, what sport will they be watching? <laughs> give them that one. Well, I think they should be watching this right now. Malinaji's come out really, really fast and sharp. And uh, his speed seems to have taken Diaz by surprise. But the idea is if, if you get to a, an intersection and on each corner, on one corner there's a, a ball game, on another corner a guy's putting a golf ball, on a third corner there's a pickup game of hoops, and on the fourth corner there's a fist fight. The crowd will always be around the fist fight. There's a good fist fight so far tonight. Malinaji, 20 of 100 here in round number one. This up is the question. According to copy box, this is the most jabs that Malinaji has ever thrown in a round. Time! The official number. Malinaji just cut at the end of that round over his left eye, okay. right hand from Diaz. That cut, he suffered a slight feeling, nick baby. on that eye in camp. Deep breath. Look at me, Paul. From uh, one of the beautiful. pads working out. I want that jab a little faster, baby. Okay? That has opened okay. up with a punch. Get on your rhythm. Get on your rhythm. Okay. This guy got nothing on him. Got nothing on you. Deep breath, baby. Deep breath. Deep breath. Focus. When you're ready. Use your speed and stay relaxed, baby. He got. He just gotta keep trying to work that left hand. When you get close, he just gonna start rolling quite a punch. Let's start digging that body, okay? okay. But look, when he's holding you, step around, keep walking and punching, move that one hand, okay? Okay? Mm -hmm. Everything is good. It's a good round. Good All right, baby, let's go. Same thing, same thing. Let's go to work. So, Bob, the ring, the judges, and the weight stacked against Malinaji to go with that, the cut. And by the way, folks, Paulie Malinaji has a chronically bad right hand Probably the main reason he hasn't scored more knockouts in his career. So, keep stacking the deck against them. All he's doing so far is winning the fight. At least one round in. Diaz puts the punch. 
punches together, left hand. Malinaju clouding around. the power go. Yeah, see, inside, Malinaji has to do something. He can't sit there. That's how to push him off for a home. As the baby bull will have him. Can't allow free punches by the baby bull because he'll wear you down. Great way to take away the legs from a guy that's moving. Rip him to the body. I haven't seen Diaz come out with too many jobs. I guess it's difficult to get a job against a jabber. Hooks to the body, hooks to the head from Diaz. And here you see one of the difficulties a slick boxer faces versus a volume puncher. Just because of the sheer volume of punches, some are bound to get through. Diaz with a good left hand and a hook to the body. Right hand to the head. Some of the power of Diaz here in round two. Good counter shot by Diaz. And here you can also see where a hometown advantage, not necessarily because there's some kind of deck stacked against you, stack, deck stacked against you with judges, but also because every time Diaz lands, there's a roar from the crowd. Malinaji lands three or four shots, nothing. But even though, you know, Diaz will hit the gloves, you know, it makes it seem to the crowd that he's landing punches, so they will, you know, cheer for that. And he, and he has landed a lot of punches this round, but so is Paulie, and the crowd doesn't react when Paulie There's lands another punches. cut. Over Diaz. Diaz has a cut. Diaz has a cut in his left eye. So they're both cut. All right, good job, good job. Got a cut, got a cut. Come on, Joe. I got, I got, I got you. Okay, I got you, I got you. Okay, baby, look, let's go to work, okay? Look, let's not forget the jab, okay? Whatever you do, don't forget your jab, all right? You can keep doing whatever you're doing, but just don't forget that jab, all right? Mm -hmm. Keep boxing this guy. Everything? Okay. Listen to me now. Move your feet, baby. Look like a million dollars. You cut him up, baby. Deep breath. Call it. Don't fight him on this. Just had a chance to speak with referee Lawrence Cole. That cut on the left eye of Diaz. Cole did not see any headbutt or a punch that caused the cut. He conferred with all three judges. None of them saw a headbutt that would have caused it. So he says, you've got to assume it was a punch. So assume it's a punch. Each fighter cut on the left eye as we begin round three. Diaz says he likes fighting at home. You know, you hear a lot of fighters sometimes say this. A lot of pressure, if people asking for tickets, people bothering you. He really gives his brother Jose a lot of credit. He is his shield. Doesn't let anybody get to him. Handles the tickets, keeps the house quiet. It's a great asset. Well, if his brother's a shield, he could use him in this round so far. <laughs> Man, Najee landing some good shots. Yeah, family's always a great asset, especially in this type of uh, sport. Real good fight so far. 